was younger, when I was only 14, I was told by a drama teacher that I might do okay if I was happy to settle for the fat girl parts. I was like, you know, probably all the women in this audience are about Leonardo DiCaprio. Initially, I thought, oh, how am I going to work with this beautiful man who's such a brilliant actor? And I met him, and he's so, honestly, he's so lovely and down-to-earth and normal and so good at what he does. It was a real brother-sister thing. We were very, very, very close and really stuck together. Well, it's funny, actually. I remember doing, I remember on the Titanic, I remember you actually saying to me one day, you know, you've really got to let the whole fat girl thing go. It's in the past, honey, you've got to let it go. <laughs> and that's the, that's the truth, you're right. I can speak for both of us. We have a lot more wrinkles, don't we, we darling? Do. Unfortunately. <laughs> no, I'm proud of them though. You know, I watch Revolution Road and I think, damn, look at our foreheads go. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really pleased by that. Um, I can't say that you're taller because you were always tall. Right, was I really? He's a man now. <laughs> Still as beautiful and radiant <laughs> as she was the day I met her. <laughs> this is going to go down as the interview when he was really nice to her and she was exactly. really good to him. The truth is, you're so, such, such close friends that when you do talk, you quote Titanic lines back and forth to each other. You know. <laughs> you can tell us. You don't have to. <laughs> you do. I can stand here and tell you how much I love you and how much I've loved you for 13 years. <laughs> I love you with all my heart, I really do.